Last time we were foolishly attacked by the Labeateans in the south and we now have them under a serious siege. But now the Del Mate have decided it is time to attack. So are we able to rush north quick enough to get rid of the Del Mate and also fight their large armies in the north? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our RDAI campaign in RTR Imperium. So Rectum, last time the Labeateans attacked us down south, so we had to rush back from the Day City 8 lands to deal with them, and we are currently in the process of dealing with them. I don't think it's going to be too hard, but the problem is the Del Mate have now attacked us, which is not good for us, really. They have quite expansive lands, and I do very much feel that by taking this land off them, we are going to go to war with the Liberni. That was going to be the plan anyway, but there's a couple of things that I want to like talk about in terms of the plan going forward for us as well from my experience as playing as the Liberni just for fun. So I've been playing as the Liberni just for fun uh, when I get a little bit of free time. And there's two things. Firstly, Delmium is incredibly rich. I don't know whether they've built both the silver and the gold mines there yet, but it has silver and gold. So in my Laburnie campaign, it's currently making about 7,500 plus a turn. That would completely change our fortune. So Delmium is definitely the first target. I feel like we can cripple them by taking that as well. And secondly, this land up here that I talked about earlier is also incredibly rich and has really good population growth. There's a couple of other settlements up here in the north that you can see have silver, have gold, and a lot of this land also has amber, which is a fantastic trade resource. So once we've got rid of the Laburni, we're going to see what we want to do, but um, we've got a few options, and I think going for Patavium and this land here up to the river would be fantastic for us going forward. That's really going to help us out going forward. But anyway, in the meantime, let's end the turn. I don't believe there's anything else for us to do, apart from maybe moving the spy or the diplomat, but I'll do that off camera, guys. So let's end the turn, and I'll see you after the end turn. Okay, well, we have just got the Epilectoi reform as well, which is amazing. Oh, great king of Illyria, thanks to your excellent leadership, your realm and army have considerably grown in size. Among our men are plenty of brave warriors who have shown the greatest courage and determination and would readily die for you in battle. It is time to separate the wheat from the chaff and pick these men out to serve in their own unit, which the Greeks call Epilectoi. They shall move swiftly over the battlefield and strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. Make sure to check the recruitment scroll to see the details. Well, the problem is, as we can see, we are being um, besieged down here as well. The problem is, to get the Epilecto, what do we need? We need fourth tier barracks, which uh, we need to get to <gasps> huge city for that, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a while away, I feel like. You can also see the Del Mate have sieged down the Rensopolis. And are also going to go and siege down Arduba, I believe. So, yeah, we are in a bit of trouble. What I am going to do, though, I am going to gather my forces here and attack these boys. And see whether we can win just with our cavalry. Because it is going to be cavalry heavy, that. Um, but, yeah, we're going to beat them back there. Over here, that's two units. It's going to take them a while to actually build any siege equipment. So, that is good. Let's have a look at what we have got candidate for adoption. Of course, we need to accept that. I'm going to get the better guy out of here ASAP. But where could he go? Yeah, Epidauros is probably the best option for you, my friend. So let's get you all the way to Epidauros. There we go. And that also means we've got these guys there ready to go too. We are getting another unit. I'm thinking we go for another hoplite here. So that's going to cost us a little bit cash. But that is going to be fantastic for us in the long run. We built in Rhizon. Like I say, Rhizon, we need to grow. We really need to grow. Like, we're in a terrible position with Rhizon right now. Because it's our capital. It's our only real recruitment hub at the minute. So, we need it to grow. We need it to get up to large city. And with that in mind, we need to stop it being blockaded. So, 
Great, um, great suggestion from Zero Suit Samos. One of the channel members, actually, guys. Um, so thank you to him for this suggestion. It is to get a navy together just to stop the blockades happening, basically. So, oh yeah, we've got these guys as well. So let's get them off the ships. They can... So we've got three there. Once we've got seven, that'll actually be pretty darn good, I feel like. So, yeah, we'll be good. But, first of all, let's do this small battle. I think this is going to be uh, quite useful for us. So let's go with that. And let's... Hmm... I think we'll attack with this unit first. Apparently, it's, it's mega in their favor, but I don't really see why... Like, the Northern Illyrian Levy and the Sp and the Axemen are not bad. We just need to make sure that we don't take the Javelin shots too much. I guess it's because they have so many more men, but um, maybe we'll lose. Let's see, guys. Let's get into the battle. And this is the reason why I wanted to start with these troops, is because we can harass their troops while we also bring our other units into the battle. So we're going to bring these guys across here too, group them together, and we're going to bring the Akontistai up here as well, get them on fire at will. And with these guys, we can harass them while we are waiting for the other troops to come into the fight. So that is the plan anyway. I'm hoping we can maybe harass their Axemen. That's probably the better option. And we'll stay around this side so we're closer to our own troops. But let's get on with it. Well, there we go, guys. We've harassed them for a little bit. We have managed to whittle down the Northern Illyrian um, Levy a little bit. But the uh, Axemen, less so. And the General, not really at all. But we are going to go and engage them now. So we're not going to run these men because they're already tired. But I'm going to gather all my horsemen together. And we're, of course, going to go for some big cavalry charges if we can. Well, the main thing here is going to be taking out the general. So... We are going to distract, hopefully, their infantry with some of these guys. And if they charge with their general, we're going to charge him. So that is the plan anyway. Let's see whether it works. I hope the general comes out. Looks like he is coming. So let's go for a cheeky charge on him. Hopefully, we can kill him. That would be excellent. While our guys are chucking their javelins, let's see if we can uh, get a cheeky charge on him as well with our other cavalry. And then, hopefully, once he's dead, we can rout the other guys. Like I say, Akontistai, we're going to get you to run away. Uh, we've got to be slightly worried about the Northern Illyrian Levy, because, of course, they're a, not an amazing unit, but they're not awful either. And because half of their cavalry unit was behind the men there, we're going to come out, we're going to maneuver around them. So, let's go. I don't think they'll catch the Akontistai, but you never know. They may do. He is staying very close. He is staying very close. That is good uh, tactics by him. So, fair play. Yeah, look at that. He is protecting. I think we just go for the charge, honestly. Where are our generals? Let's get them around there. We'll go for the charge in the front with these boys. And he has split up his men, which is good. No, go for the cheeky charge there. Go for the cheeky charge there. We'll go into the Northern Illyrian Levy. Why can we not rally? Oh, because uh, we don't have a general here. There we go. Enemy general's dead. And then we go straight into the Northern Illyrian Levy. And they are shaken. Not stirred, my friends. Not stirred. And they are broken. Fantastic. Well, now we just need to deal with these guys. So, uh, yeah. Let's kill all of these men if we can. There we go. Fantastic. And now let's go and deal with them. I'm going to take these guys off. Turn them to face them. And we will go and deal with them. Well, unfortunately, he did rout the Akontistai almost instantly, which, yeah, fair play. Probably pretty uh, <laughs> understood there. So we're going to try and charge him from both sides. He isn't running away. Says they're warmed up, and you can see how fast these Illyrian troops are. Guys, come on. Actually charge. They can't charge units when the ch units are running away from them. It's very annoying. <laughs> so we're going to get set up behind them. And we're going to go for a cheeky charge. Oh, they routed anyway. We didn't even need to charge them again. So, glorious victory. Well done, my friends. Well, there we go. Definitely a very nice little battle. Let's get off here. And we actually got a man of the hour for that. I am 100% going to take that. He's blooded an adult of Illyrian heritage as well. That is good. We are definitely going to take a commander there. Because he can then govern... One of these places. Potentially, I'm thinking Eption. Well, we have the governor there, don't we? We've also got the governor in Nestos. 
But we didn't have one in Trigorion, so you can stay in Trigorion. We'll also retrain those boys while we can. In terms of recruiting troops, though, what do we want to do? What do we want to get some more of in our armies? I'm thinking... Yeah, we're getting more hoplites there. So let's get some more missile troops. Although, yeah, no, we're, uh, we're not getting a ship there. Don't waste money on that. Also here, no point getting a ship there either. Um, so let's uh, replace it with that. And I do believe, I do believe, guys, if we get to level 2, we can get the Asian Epibartai, which is actually an insanely good slinger unit. 140 range, 6 missile attack, so better than the Greek archers, better range than them as well, and they have amazing defense for a missile unit, 24, so that will actually be excellent. In fact, no, we don't want to retrain them because they'll be better as a unit like that. Anything else we want to build when we're talking about not training anything? No, but we will have a little bit of extra money very soon. So let's get on with these battles, guys. We'll go for Skodra first. And these battles have been pretty chaotic so far. Although Skodra, yeah, which one was the one with the infantry? Yeah, we'll take Skodra. We'll join up Baleos the Ardean with Pluratos. And we'll go from there. Glorious. Let's go, my friends. Well, here we go, guys. We have managed to... Um, Breach the walls in two places. These guys are ready to go now as well. Get into the slave slingers. Probably going to come through this way. Get our guys through this way too. As you can see, Pluratos over here. The Pluratos, the Labeatean, has a serious amount of general's bodyguard. 52 as well. So a pretty scary bloke. Hmm. I'm actually wondering, will the Labeateans die Oh, they might die if we take this. We should have done it the other way around. I didn't even think about that. Why do I always never think about this? <laughs> it always happens. It always happens. God damn it. God damn it. We may then die. Um, so that's not going to be good. <laughs> that's really not going to be good if we do die because of it. Um, sorry, not, we won't die. Sorry, the Labeateans, if they die because of this, that's going to be quite annoying. Um, here comes the general as well, though. Let's get our general in there. No, not that way. This way, my friends. Oh, he's broken them instantly. He's broken them instantly. That is not good. We may even just retreat from this if things are going so badly. But we can't. We can't afford to. I'm surprised these guys are taking so long to kill the slave slingers. Come on, guys. Come on. We need you in. We need you in. We need you fighting. Rally. Rally the men. Okay, there we go. That's better. That's better. We'll surround his general now. We'll surround the general. So here comes my general and the Prodromoi. That should help us out a bit. Keep us nice and uh, stable. But goddamn, that was rough, wasn't it, my friends? Where are these footmen? Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, boys, get out. How are the Prodromoi not in here? So when we charged in, this wasn't the case. We were, um, you know, not able to uh, to get through this way quite as quickly. Otherwise, I would have uh, would have come out. In fact, you guys get out too. And then we'll try and charge them from the back. I think that's really going to help uh, help us out. As long as the uh, as long as the axemen hold, which might not happen, you never know. But it does look like the general is uh, struggling now. So we're going to get the footmen in here, or what are they? What are they? They're Southern Illyrian skirmishers. Get them in there. We're also going to get you. You guys have come back finally from routing. <laughs> Good. Now let's charge the general. Let's go, boys. Let's go. If we can kill him, oh. That is their king. That is their king. Hopefully we can kill then the Labeate and Light Infantry. Everyone jump on them. And we are... Yeah, we're in a good spot now. Oh, they still have Noble Cavalry though. I didn't even realize that. Where did that Noble Cavalry come from? Well, let's uh, get the Cavalry out for now. And let's leave the Infantry to uh, deal with these boys. And let's sort ourselves out then, shall we? I knew these Labeate and Light Infantry were quite good, but look at them. They are pretty good. They've been holding on for a long time. But here comes the, the uh, Noble Cavalry charging down. Hopefully, that's going to allow us to fire at these guys. So, this unit is just a sacrificial lamb, unfortunately, for them. Hopefully, come on, guys. I need you to speed up. I need you to speed up your firing. And then we're going to get in front of them there. 
Come on, guys. Keep firing. Keep firing. You can see that it's uh, done quite a bit of damage to them, honestly. Look at that. Really nice bit of damage. Really nice bit of damage. But let's, uh, let's get into them now with our guys. And let's bring these guys slightly back. All of these Illyrian uh, battles are kind of chaos, and I, I love it. <laughs> I love this little bit of chaos that we get exposed to here. Well, there they go. They're running. Hopefully, the Prodromoi can uh, can deal with them. I swear they had a guy on the town square. Maybe they brought them down. Maybe this is it. Maybe it's it. That would be amazing if it was, but... Um, I'm not holding out too much hope, my friends. <laughs> well, this is actually tighter than we ever would have wanted, but hopefully we can get our guys in there to fire into the uh, into the uh, Southern Illyri Illyrian Levy fast enough. So there we go. Fire into them, my friends. Fire into them. Come on, Projimoy, just get out of there. We don't need you in there anymore. I want you guys to fire in there too. And hopefully these guys can take out the remains of the uh, Illyrian cavalry. But look at that. They do just die so quickly to missiles because of their lack of uh, armor. So that is really good for us. <laughs> Come on, boys. You're all we need right now. You're all we need. <laughs> Come on, please. Please. And hopefully we can get them off the town square. Come on, boys. Look at that. Absolutely shredding them. We're not even taking that many losses ourselves. Looks like they're going to charge. That would be glorious if they do. I don't mind that at all. Come on, boys. Can you not fire? Oh, you're off fire at will because you're on the ramp. There we go. Let's see if we can break these boys. Let's see if we can break them. Then we're going to charge them. Come on, men. Right, you guys go and deal with them on the town square. You guys deal with them. Let's go. Kill everyone here. Glorious. Apparently, the Progemoy have not wanted to attack this whole time. I have to put them on move orders rather than attack orders. Oh, my God. Friendly fire, guys. Hold your fire. God damn it. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> no, they did it again. Stop. Stop. Please. Just stop. Stop. Guys, please. <laughs> please. Come on. Glorious victory, though. Pretty brutal, but a good victory nonetheless. Wow. More losses than I expected there. But hopefully the Libertans aren't dead. I guess we'll find out, won't we, guys? <laughs> And I think, as usual, we are going to enslave Skodra. Now, Skodra is a very nice little settlement. We've got a sacred shrine to Illyrius, which is lore. We don't need that in there at the moment, probably. So that's fine. It's so hard to see boot butthole, <laughs> whatever the hell it's called. Can you reach there? Can you reach there? You can. Glorious. Well, let's keep on moving. Let's go and join... Our glorious Pluratos. Let's organize the troops. And the Lebeateans didn't die. So they must have another settlement or something at least. It could potentially be in the north, you know. It could be up here. If it is there, I don't want it. <laughs> I really, I really don't want it. But anyway, in Skodra, let's repair that and let's build some of the farms. Although, can we afford without doing the farms? Not quite, but we will be able to afford it once we've taken Meteon. I feel like this will be less messy because there's less cavalry involved here. Uh, but this has given Baleos confident commander and a captured standard, which is very nice for when he takes over from Pluratos. Pluratos is still 39, though, so it's going to be... Uh, he's going to be around for a long time, hopefully. A lot of turns into the campaign. But let's get into Meteon. This should be nice. I hesitate to say nice and easy. This should be quite difficult. But um, yeah, it should be better than last time with the amount of troops we have. Let's see. God damn it, guys. I've, I've realized that uh, I wasn't recording the start of the battle. But not much has really happened, to be honest. We just surrounded this unit. And now they've got their Southern Illyrian uh, Spearmen in here trying to have a go at us. So you guys, just get across here. I don't like the way you're just moving in like that. I want you to fully surround them. I want you to move properly. But yeah, you didn't really miss much, to be honest, guys. We haven't really lost many men. We've just been surrounding these guys. So there we go. You guys charge in too. That'd be good. And then what do we have? We just have a Southern Illyrian uh, Spearmen up there as well. Well, you guys come there. Prodromoy, let's bring you in as well. So hopefully we can break these guys nice and easily. 
Oh, they've still got Southern Illyrian Levy here. I didn't realize that those guys were in here still. But there we go. We have fully surrounded them, so there shouldn't be much to worry about, really. Overall, there goes one of them at least. Glorious. Very nice. Let's speed this up. We don't need this to go so slow. There we go. Fighting to the death should make them die very, very quickly indeed. Glorious. Well, here we go, guys. We're now pretty much surrounding the enemy over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our axemen really close, firing into the enemy with these guys behind them as well, hopefully firing. Let's get them on fire at will now. And this should hopefully just shred these boys. Because even though they are Southern Illyrian spearmen, they're not like amazingly armored. They're better than the Northern Illyrian ones, but they're not amazingly armored, like, uh, like we say. So hopefully these guys can fire too. In fact, if they're not going to fire, surely you should be able to fire. There we go. Look at that. Firing at the wrong unit, but that's fine. Hopefully that will kill him. Come on. Kill him. Come on, guys. Firing at the wrong goddamn unit, for God's sake. Fire at the right one. <laughs> well, there we go. That's fine. We'll go and surround them, and then we'll be absolutely fine. No problem. Should be a nice and easy victory, this, my friends. There we go. Well, there we go. They broke pretty much instantaneously. So, a lot better victory this time. Nice and easy. Southern Illyrian Axeman, 138 kills. Go on, the boys. And also, let's enslave Metion too. And the Lebeateans do have land up here. Oh, I really don't want to have to go and deal with that. Oh, this is not good. Do we have anything that we could maybe scout with? Like a general, for example. Let's go and have a look with Baleos, because he's not that important to us, is he? Let's be honest. I mean, the Illyrians look like they might go and take it. <laughs> um, but like I say, we need to react to the north. So, rather than worrying about that, let's get those boys in there. Let's bring these guys back to Ryzon for now. And you can go into Epidauros, where you can be... Retrained. I'm wondering, do they have any good buildings in here? They do have some good ones. But we're going to have to use this money to retrain our boys. We are 100% going to have to do that. Let's also put in that. That's a very cheap building. These guys are getting retrained. That's fine. And do we have enough to retrain everyone here? Not quite. Well, let's cancel the building then. And then make sure that we can retrain. We still need more money for that. Anything else we can destroy in here that is not necessary? Not really. Well, we could... Hmm. I mean, I want to make this into a recruitment hub too. I, I, I like Ulikinion or Ulkinion. We don't need it. We don't need it. That's fine. It's more important to us right now to be retraining all of our men. So, yeah. And then we're going to have to go and deal with the Delmate. Not the easiest of tasks, but I think taking Delmium is going to be a big, big benefit for us. So um, let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see what happens. Right then, guys, new turn. Let's get them moving. And you can see the Delmate have besieged down three settlements again. So, uh, yeah, not, not ideal for us, but not awful nonetheless. We did build that in uh, Booth, though, but I think we'll uh, worry about that a little bit later down the line. Let's first of all... Get moving. And the first thing, the first people going to attack is these guys up here. Once these guys have a ram, we will gather our forces once again around here. And I think we'll be fine again. We've got an extra general this time. But first of all, I want to deal with this army. I want to utterly destroy that army up there. In the meantime, let's get a building, a recruitment hub here. Because it has level two of everything, which is... Actually, excellent for us. Let's build a land clearance there. Let's also build a communal farming down here. In Ryzon, let's build a tavern. As you can see, our our population growth is awful in Ryzon. Really bad. We'll, we'll be on 0%. Oh, God. We're going to be on 0%. Why? Okay. That's getting added 2.5%. I wonder whether that's just the... From the blockade still is, is still there. Um, maybe. Maybe. Potentially. Anywhere else we want to build. Let's have a look on our list. Epidauros potentially if there's anything good. 
And I'm thinking we go with the shrine to Zoe there because, of course, it's going to be another recruitment hub. And we need our two hoplites in this army. We now have a pretty fan army, don't we? Pretty nice army indeed, my friends. So, um, yeah, woe to anyone who decides to uh, attack us. Ah, I should have retrained the Prodromoy as well. Forgot about that. Also, these guys don't need to be in there. Well, that was a bit of an oversight, but they can maybe govern a city up here or something along those lines. But anyway, let's end the turn again, guys, and let's see what happens. Well, another turn, another problem, and it looks like leaving the Labeate to themselves was maybe not the best of ideas. I think we can scratch a bit of an army together, though, to go and fight them off. First things first, though. Ooh, we can go this way around. Let's just knock them off the siege, and then we're going to come here. I think if we'd have attacked them, there is a chance that we might not have had enough movement points. So that's why I've done it this way, guys, rather than, you know, fighting that smaller army. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's getting a little bit tight, isn't it, my friends? A little bit tight. Let's get another Akontistai, and let's get another Slave Javelinman. So we've got enough governors for up in the north. And look at them. They've blockaded everything. Surely we win that. Come on. There we go. Let's group these boys together. Let's go here. Again, silly Labeateans. What are they doing, man? <laughs> do we have enough money to uh, retrain these boys? We do. And we do we have another navy anywhere that we trained? Oh, we've got these guys. Yep. Come and join up, my friends. Join the party. Join the party. Well, I think this is our first properly large battle. And it's they don't have that much. They've got a little bit more cavalry than us. Infantry-wise, though, we should absolutely shred them here. We'll have a front line of the uh, Hoplites and the Illyrian Spearmen and flank them with our Axemen. And I think we're going to do fantastically well. So um, let's get into the battle, guys. Look, yes. It's a fine day for battle. Every day is a fine day for battle when your heart is brave. Glorious. Is that it? Is that it? Yes, it is. Well, there's a few too many trees for my liking on this battle map, but I assume that they would be up on the hill like that. We've also got another general that we can group in. So let's get him coming forward too. And yeah, we are just going to go and engage them. Their, their reinforcements are actually coming in directly behind them, which isn't too bad for us either. So yeah. Overall, quite a decent little position to be in, although we do have to climb up a hill. Not too bad, though. Not too bad of a position. Let's get the Prodromoy out of there. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get in position. Let's get all our boys in position. And then we've got our men coming up this way, too. And yeah, don't know what they're doing. Hopefully they don't withdraw. That would be the worst thing, I think, if they withdrew. Let's come forward. And then we're going to go and engage them all. I'm going to bring you guys to the flank instantly. You guys can come there too. Look at this. Look at those rocks. They're cool. Fire your javies, boys. Fire your javies, please. Please fire. God damn, you take so long to fire. <laughs> They are honestly so annoying. Like, why? They'd be so useful if they actually fired. They just take about a million minutes to fire. Don't do that. Don't be a useless prick. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> right, guys. Come on. Let's go. And uh, let's engage. So, here we go. Into the spearmen. You guys up here, too. And, okay. There we go. We're engaged. We can engage these guys as well. And I want you to do that. We've got our hoplites and everything in here as well, which is excellent. And I want you guys up that way. Now we need to get our cavalry involved and try skirmishing with a few of them. Here we go. Come on, boys. Get in there. This line should not break. This should be a nice hold against their men. Who is losing a lot of men? You are apparently. Don't know how. Here we go. Firing down the hill. Oh, my God. They keep doing this. There we go. Firing into the Northern Illyrian Cavalry. 
which are not the best cavalry units, as we well know. So, there we go. Let's go. After these boys. After these boys. These guys can just fire off their javis. I'd rather them do that and the Northern Illyrian cavalry not run away. What do we have at the back here? Southern Illyrian axemen. Well, we could probably charge them and just break them pretty quickly. But uh, for now, we're just going to charge into that Southern Le Illyrian levy there. There goes one of their units breaking. Come on, boys. A charge would be nice. A charge would be nice. Charge, please. <laughs> there we go. That's that's nice. Where's our progemoy now? Oh, my God. They're getting absolutely shredded. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Now we're going to charge the Southern Illyrian Axemen. Going to rally the men. Going to rally the men. I need you, I need you, progemoy, to mop up the uh, routing fools. Straight in their flank. We should roll down the front of them there. Look at that. That's actually quite nice. That was actually quite a nice charge. That's one of their generals dead. And then he breaks instantly. Very nice. Let's let's get into the Northern Illyrian general here. And let's kill him. There we go. And then we've got Axemen to deal with now as well. Right, guys. Right, guys. Turn around. Turn around. This is what we need. This is what we need. Everyone is starting to rout now. And once they start routing, we know they tend to continue doing so for a little while. So they have uh, both Northern Illyrian Cavalry and Southern Illyrian Cavalry. Oh, my God. Whew. That was a nice, fast and furious battle, I've got to say. Right. Let's make sure we chase everyone down. Well, that was a glorious little hilltop victory. Very nice indeed. A thousand versus, what, 350, something like that. Very good. The Progemoy doing a lot of kills, but that, of course, is in... Uh, chasing them down. I just think in general, everyone did really well there. Well done, guys. A glorious, glorious victory. Well, here we go. Let's, uh, I think we're going to go for Delmium straight away. If they get Rams next turn, we will go for a little, um, you know, gathering all our forces up from round here to attack them. It's going to be a difficult battle, especially without infantry. So what I'm going to do is bring this Hoplite across there straight away so he has a bit more movement points next turn. And we're going to go for Delmium. Um, one of the rich settlements. Satovia 2 is a large town. And so is Ryder here as well. So, yeah. Once Delmium's taken, though, I don't think they'll have much. Looks like a lot of their escaped troops managed to get back to here. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Let's end the turn, guys. So, the Illyrian Kingdom wants to become our protectorate. I mean, that's going to stop us, like, fighting them for a little bit longer, I feel like. So, oh, thanks. let's do that for now. <laughs> and, yeah, that's that's okay. I'm not too bothered about that. Well, the Labeate want to become our protectorate, but they want, like, a million cities. So let's just offer it. No, of course not. Well, on to the next turn, guys. And let's go straight for Delmium, which is their capital. And hopefully this is going to be a relatively easy siege to do. And can we see whether they've got mines? I mean, oh, we can. They have silver and gold mines currently. Oh, my God. That is amazing. <laughs> that is really, really good for us. Fantastic. So, um, yes, Awesome. Very, very happy with that. Over in Epidauros, I'd rather be getting more troops, honestly. <laughs> Let's go for some more. Yeah, we're getting the Akontistai there, and we're getting the sling there, the Spearman there. That's fine. Over this way. Let's get another Progemoy. And do these guys have a ram? Oh, they do. So, um, yeah, we need to deal with them. Let's uh, deal with this guy first. We're going to get all of the men around this region. Hopefully, they have enough movement points to get back to the cities <laughs> they were garrisoning. But um, you never know. You never know, my friends, do you? This guy... Oh, he's got loads of movement points. So, a bit of general stacking, to be honest. But against this, it's still going to be relatively difficult. We have very little infantry... Although, again, they don't have that much infantry either. So it is going to be a bit of a cavalry day for us. So let's get into the battle, guys. Well, here we go, guys. We're getting close to them now. Looks like their general wants to come and tango. So if he does, 
We will uh, charge him directly, but let's get ready to uh, take that if he does want to tango. There we go. He is charging. What an imbecile. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Just expose your men like that. There we go. No problem with that at all. Let's get our uh, hoplites through to see whether they can attack anyone. And we'll get our slingers in there as well. There we go. General's routing. Would be nice to kill him, honestly. Hmm. Don't think we're going to be able to. But uh, let's try. And we'll get these guys here to chase the enemy. And then these boys can be here, obviously, firing into all of the enemy. Oh, my God. It looks like we are catching him. Yes. Come on. Come on, the boys. Let's go. What do we have there? Slingers. Well, let's get around this way. Let's go and deal with those slingers when we can. Uh, slave javelin men, get out of there. Don't want you uh, dealing with that. Let's get our javelin men forward. I don't mind taking damage on these guys. It actually just reduces the upkeep for them. What is going on here? Attack them. Fight them. Right. We're going to struggle here, I think. So we need our cavalry to get in on the action or at least meat shield uh, against a few things. You guys fire in there, please. Please fire. Come on, slingers. Oh my god. Our... Uh, come on! Fire! God damn, you're so slow to fire, guys. Just fire, for God's sake. Just fire. There we go. Same with these guys. They take forever to fire. God damn it. Right, now into these boys. Right, we're just going to charge straight in the middle here. And see what happens. There we go. It looks like some of them are going for the charge, which is actually glorious for us. Our hoplites are absolutely ruined. Right, kill these slingers, uh, these skirmishers, for God's sake. There we go, broken them straight away. Straight into these boys. You guys need you to come forward to attack them. And you guys can attack these boys. And then we will chase them down if we can. Come on, wavering. Come on, break them, men. Break them. Yeah, you guys chase after them. That'll be good. You guys just come here. And I want you to just fire at the slingers. Okay, looks like... Oh my god, we lost the general. No, 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 no. Didn't get notified about that either. Well, seeing as you are dead already, we might as well just use you to charge in. That's slightly unfortunate. Not the best general we had. But also not an awful one as well. But the hoplites, look at them. They're absolutely getting shredded here. Oh dear. Hoplites getting shredded. Hoplites are pretty much dead. Could actually use you. Where are you? Right, you guys fight. I thought you were firing at them. Where are you firing now? You guys fire at them. And let's break these slave slingers, shall we? That'll be the best thing. If we can break them, then we can only just focus on these boys. Let's rally the men with the good general so that he doesn't die <laughs> this time. Come on, this has to be a good charge, surely. 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 There we go. Broken them. Nice. How are we doing with that? Good. Okay. Okay. That was tighter than it needed to be, <laughs> to be honest. But um, a glorious victory nonetheless, my friends. Well, there we go. At the cost of a general, unfortunately. But still, a glorious victory, my friends. And unfortunately, we don't really have much movement points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy into Skodra for now. I'm going to put you back into Ryzon because you do provide a lot of money to Ryzon. You will have movement points. So let's get you in this one. We're then going to put you javelin men in there. And we're going to put you in there. And then, yes, you in Epidauros, you can govern that. And then when we get a new general, we will use you appropriately. Unfortunately, yeah, general died. Not ideal. Not ideal, my friends. And then I'm thinking, what is this? It's just all infantry. This is going to be tough again without anything that useful to fight infantry. It's just all going to be cavalry. <laughs> well, what if we do this and this? Oh, it's risky, but they might just abandon it. No, I think we've got to take the fight, haven't we? I think we've got to take the fight, so we might as well bring you as well. So let's attack with these boys. And it says, you know, we're going to lose. <laughs> um, I mean, it's very possible we might lose, but it might stop them being able to take the city as well. So 
That's at least one good thing, so let's see, guys. Well, we're going to have to do the same thing we did last time. Try and whittle them down. Try to kill the general will be the most important thing for us. So, yeah, killing the general and then just going for mass charges and seeing whether we can win. Looks like they want to come and party, though, straight away. I don't blame them, honestly, because, of course, we have generals that we are getting together. So, yeah, will be a cleverer idea for them to do that. How far away are these boys? They're still a little ways off from in, uh, engaging in the fight. Maybe we can take out the general here. Ooh, I don't know why you would isolate your general like that, my friend. But um, it's not the best idea in the world. And the general's normally always on the left-hand side. There he is. There he is on the left-hand side. So if we have a nice charge on that left-hand side, we might just be able to... Um, let's actually set the guys up. You guys get back, get back, get back, get back. And then let's go for a charge. Then what we're going to do is try and sneak these guys around the back. Rally so you don't die. Okay, rallied right in front of them. That was unfortunate. Ooh. Okay. That was not the greatest of charges, my friends. Not the greatest of charges. These, these spearmen are going to be very hard to deal with. No. General has died. That's not good. That's not good. This may be an L, guys. This may be an L that we're just going to have to take. So, yeah. Might have to withdraw from this. Let's see. Let's see. We may just take the take the withdrawal here. We may just take the withdrawal. Let's see. Let's see if we get if we can break this general. That's going to be maybe then winnable. Oh, the other general's routed. Well, that's um that's not ideal. Let's see what we can do here with this charge. Probably not going to be great against the Spearman again, but it's actually better than the last charge. So again, we just need to make sure that we try and kill the general here. You guys fire at the Axeman. There we go, boys. There we go. Nice little charge into there. They are shaken. Not stirred, of course. But yes. Oh, steady now. Come on. Really? Really? Well, let's get out. Let's get out. These guys will want to rout as well. That's the problem. That is the problem. They're down to so few men now, though. Oh, yeah. No, I think this is an L, guys. I think we've got to take this as an L. Let's just try one more time to kill as many as we can of this unit. Okay, that second recharge should be good, though. Okay, no. It was not good. It was not good. One charge left. Okay. They stuck around for, an, for a general that is not... Yeah, you guys get off the battle map, and then you guys off the battle map too. Well, uh, we'll take that as an L, but these guys stuck around so long, considering that they don't have a general. They're just a uh, a captain, but anyway, the spearmen just too strong to fight with the cavalry, it seems, unfortunately. Ooh, well, we only inflicted 100 casualties as well. That is unfortunate, but oh well. Um, Yeah, that, that, that spearman unit just too strong for us, it seems. And there we go. We did. We don't have anyone in Nestos now, though. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm wondering whether we can swap someone out from a region that is not under risk. Like, this region, not at risk currently. Because it doesn't border anyone that we're at war with. So, for now, we're going to move him across. But again, we are very much running... Uh, running low on governors and all that sort of thing. But, you know, Eption Salona, losing that, but taking Delmium will cripple them. So, uh, it's it's a sacrifice uh, <laughs> we're willing to make, I guess, guys. We're willing to make. Yes. These guys, too, need to go back to Epidauros. So, we'll get them moving for now, just so that I remember next time. Yes. Now, let's see what we want to build. We've got a little bit of cash. We've got a little bit of cash. Not a huge amount. Let's build the sewers in Epidauros. Try and get more growth, even though we're losing losing growth there. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, the, the land here is so poor. It's, it's actually unbelievable <laughs> how poor it is. Um, but yeah, we're building in all of those areas. That's fine. Anything we can build over here that's worth it? How about in here? 
Not really. We could go for a trade. We could go for Dionysus, though. Or Rodon. I think we go for Rodon here because, you know, trade income bonus. So, yeah, that's good. Right then, I think we're going to end it there, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would massively be appreciated. Big thanks to all of the channel members who are Zero Suit Samus, Pascal Deslaurier, and David D. So, massive thanks to them. And if you want to support the channel, guys, you can find the link down below. But without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again on the next video.